All right, guys, this is going to be a video on the top 10 examples of artificial intelligence in Carmageddon 2. We have a lot to cover in this video. This is going to be a real whirlwind tour. So let's get to it. Number 10. Okay, the first thing to understand about the AI in Carmageddon 2 is that it will often detect when you're about to waste an opponent and it will send the next opponent in your vicinity so that they will arrive right about the time when you waste the previous opponent. This helps to keep the game fast paced and interesting. So here you can see I'm coming out of the water after wasting the previous opponent and the next opponent 666 is just driving right by. So let's see how that happened. So here you can see 666 is actually, this is just before that still you just saw, 666 is about a half a mile away from where I am. So let's cut to the split screen view. Here you can see me underwater. I'm just roaming around trying to avoid these, uh, these landmines and picking up power-ups. And you can see uh, the red vet off in the distance. He comes right past me, but I'm busy picking up power-up. Ooh, the red vet hits a mine. Oh, wow, he hits another mine. He hits a second mine. He flips around and he, he somersaults and he hits a third mine. Boom, right there. And I see that. I turn around. And I figure he's pretty softened up by now, so I come toward him. But look what 6066 is doing. Rewind this and you see at the exact moment when I realized what was happening, 6066 starts coming in my direction. There's, here's where you saw the still right there. Amazing. Number nine. Okay, so here's a continuation of that last clip. Here you can see 66 is now waiting for me. I've come out of the water and he's, he's waiting for me to come and look what he starts doing. He starts dropping off his fenders even before I hit him because he knows that I'm about to hit him so I guess he's, he figures there's no point in waiting, might as well get it out of the way. So I finally hit him really good here and, and I'm pushing him along and finally right here I think is where he loses his last fender. So it's really funny and kind of amazing here. Number eight. Okay, now this one is really freaky. Now here you can see I've got Coup de Gras in a compromised position. So I have the bright idea of maybe pushing her under this ramp and seeing if I can crush her this way. And so I do, I succeed in crushing her and look what happens. I just happen to see a jet car there just waiting, just like he's waiting for me, just happens to be passing right by. So was that a coincidence? No, it was not a coincidence. Now check this out. Now let's look at it from jet car's point of view. Now here you can see him going back and forth, back and forth. This is what they do when they're like waiting for the player to do something. And that dark brown area at the top of the screen, in case you're wondering, is like the underside of the ramp, which is what the camera view is positioned under. And he's just going back and forth, back and forth. He's waiting for the exactly the right moment because he knows what's going to happen. That's the important thing. He knows exactly what's about to happen. Now look, after this point, he just you know casually pulls out, comes by at exactly the moment that I waste coup de grace. I come through on the ramp. Number seven. Okay, in this clip we're following Cow Poker as he's chasing checkpoints, but he comes down off of this ramp here just so he can pass by me to kind of taunt me. And so here he sees me, look, he's about to drive off and then he pulls, he turns towards me again because he knows that I'm trying to hit him with my power up, which is the uh, slaughter mortar, the mine launcher. But I had the wrong one enabled, so I get caught in my own oil slick. So here I'm spinning around, I'm trying to fight to get control again. And he's just taunting me. He drives right in front. And look, just as I regain my, my traction, he takes off. He, he knows I saw him. He takes off and he starts chasing checkpoints. So I, so he, so I know that I'm never going to catch him now when he's chasing checkpoints, not in the vehicle I'm driving. So that's a clear case of the AI trying to taunt the player. But I, what I really like here is where he like turns to him. He's about to turn away and he turns back again. He does this double take. See this? Look. So he turns away. Then he turns back towards me again because he think he's figured out exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit him with a power up, and yet, but I've got the wrong one enabled, so he kind of taunts me with it. It's really freaky. Number six. Okay, so here's a clear example of logical deduction on the part of the AI. Here we see Bimmer in what I call shadow mode or ghost mode, and he becomes visible. Look, right at, at the point where I waste the previous opponent. Bimmer comes visible and he's in my actual general area. So he predicted that that was about to happen, that I was about to waste that appointment, opponent. Now look what he's doing. I'm wandering around, I'm trying to figure out where he is. He's already way all over, well on his way towards a very specific area here on the map. 
And the area where he's at is this bridge here. So why is he at this bridge? Because he knows that I'm going to have to use a bridge to get at him. Is this, you know, the easiest way to get to him? So he just steps there and waits at the bridge and waits until I come over and I finally waste him. Number five. Okay, now here's a freakier example of logical deduction on the part of the AI. Here you see me, I'm driving along in what the area called Max's Junkyard. Right here I have a realization. I realize that the opponent is on that elevated highway. Look what the opponent does, Jet Car. He turns around right at the exact moment that I have that realization. He turns around and he starts bumping into this lamppost because he knows that I realize exactly how to get to him. I realize I can get to him going over that bridge there so i almost have an accident there in my haste to get to him he's just waiting for me he's going back and forth back and forth finally i come and i waste him another amazing example of logical deduction on the part of the ai number four okay now here's another example of logical deduction now here you can see in the split screen i'm driving a yellow truck called the plow and the opponent the uh, cop car happens to be upside down on the roof of that building there. So I have this bright idea that there's this park here and there are these power-ups and maybe I can get a kangaroo on command power-up so I can jump on top of that roof and get the final opponent. But I'm I'm searching around for kangaroo on command. I'm finding everything but. I'm finding you know, peds with giant heads, pedestrian panic, suicidal pedestrians, uh, just about everything you can think of. So well, wait, here's a here's a power up right here. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is this is a jelly suspension. No, this isn't what I want. So I'm I'm there's still a few more power ups. Left. Those are a bunch of mines. I don't want to hit those. This is like I think this is like a frozen opponent, which is, you know doesn't do me any good because he's already immobilized. That's another frozen opponent right here. Here's the last one. Just about oh boom, success. Now look look at the opponent in the split screen. I hit the kangaroo on command. Look what happens. He drops off his body parts, he dropped up his body parts because he knows that I'm coming, I'm, go I'm going to be able to get him because I finally have the power up I need to come and get him. Number three. Okay, so this is actually a clip I borrowed from another player's video. Now the player is driving this red truck, a little background here, and he drives it between these two cars that are by the side of the road. That's under his own control. Suddenly, the, the AI takes over and it spins the truck around and watch what happens here. So here's a player, he's in his truck, he drives between the two cars, look what happens. The, player, the AI takes over and boom, it smacks the two other cars into the water perfectly. Look at that, now let's see this again. Here the player drives, boom, it takes over and it smacks the two cars into the water. Number two. So here's a little background on this example. This clip takes place in the aircraft carrier level, and as you can see, there's this platform that goes up and down. I guess on a real aircraft carrier, it's to take planes from one level to another. And if the player is underneath this, when it comes down, he'll get crushed. So I was under this platform, and I realized, hey, I better get the hell out of here, because this thing is about to come down, and I have one more opponent to waste. But too late, it came down, and it crushed my car. But then a strange thing happened. The a message flashed on the screen, race completed every opponent wasted i'm thinking well how could this be you know i had one more opponent left the platform has just come down it crushed my car so how could there be you know how could the race be completed when i had one opponent to waste so i decided to go back into instant replay and check it out well in instant replay mode the answer was not far to see it turns out that the opponent was right on top of the platform that came down and crushed me he was on top of the platform turned upside down and immobilized and then a very strange thing happened. The platform was coming down, coming down. All of a sudden, it pauses. Just before it hits me and crushes me, it pauses. And then a very strange thing happens. The opponent bursts into flames. He gets wasted. <laughs> and he gets wasted. And then finally, the platform starts up again. And it continues its descent. And it comes down. And it crushes me. And of course, at that point, it flashes a message. Every opponent wasted, race completed. Because obviously, this was a case where the AI came up with a clever, creative idea of how to allow the player to win the game. So it kind of bent the rules a little bit to allow the player to win. Number one. First, a little background. Sometimes when the NPCs 
go in and out of ghost mode when they're you know away from where the viewer can see them they will leave their parts behind and then when they reappear the parts will reattach themselves back to their vehicle so that happened in this clip i was driving the yellow truck and i was in instant replay mode i saw that screwy louie left two of his fenders behind he just left them like floating in the air there so right here i was just go out here is where i right here was where i was in instant replay mode now i come out of instant replay mode and i think i have the idea wouldn't it be cool if i went over that area and those parts were still there and i could smash into them but i knew i had to be fast but no i went by and the parts were gone so I skid to a stop, I spin around, and well, it was worth a try. So I come to a stop, I turn, and I come back in the direction I come, and what is this? There are the two parts, they're back, I just, I swear, I just passed right by this area, and they weren't there. And I could like smash into them, I could knock them over, they're like, kind of hovering in the air there, stacked on top of each other. And then finally I come, and I waste Screwy Louie. So let's see, how, how in the hell did that happen? So let's see it from Screwy Louie's point of view. You can see he goes by in ghost mode, and he leaves his two fenders behind, and and they're like just floating there. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! They like float, like like fly up into the air, like way high. Let's see that again. Way high up in there, like they're going into some kind of temporary storage holding bin there. So let, let's look at it now. Let's see what happens next. So here I come along. The, the two parts have just flown in the air. I come by. This is the part, part where I pass by. Look what happens. Look! Look at that! They come down the guy. They come down out of the sky, and they come back into the position they were before. And I'm able to smash into them and knock them over and and do everything. They're right there, just like they're floating there. It's freaky. So I think this may be the best example of AI ever captured on video because this is not just an example of intelligent behavior. This is an example of the AI actually exploiting a bug in its own programming in order to give the player what he wants. Incredible. So there you have it, the top 10 examples of artificial intelligence in Carmageddon 2. I hope you enjoyed that and remember that you can see the full clip of all of these examples in my other videos. So thanks for watching.